So now we're going to talk about how to determine when a function is increasing, decreasing, or constant. And the easiest way to do that is to look at the graph. And so we have a graph given, and notice I've given marks every five just to help make counting easier. And we're going to go through and we're going to look for when we're increasing, when we're decreasing, and when we're constant. So increasing again means it's from left to right, it goes up, so we're going to start at zero, because that's the first point, and it goes up to three. Well, it picks back up at five, and goes to six, and then we don't get anything else as we come along, because we're going down, so right here, at 16 we go up again, 17, 18, 19 is where it stops. And then from 21, whoops, not a comma, that should be a union, 21 to 23, it's increasing. So those are all the points that it's increasing because our line is going up. And notice that I'm using parentheses, not square brackets, to look at this. Our decreasing is when we're going down. So our first point is here at 6, just after it stopped increasing, it goes down to 9, picks back up at 11, and goes to 15, and it goes down from 23 to 24. And those are the only spots that I'm decreasing. Well, our constant is anywhere that it's the same. So we're constant from 3 to 5, and again from 9 to 11, and from 19 to 21, and notice we got this spot right here, our 24 to infinity, because that arrow means that this just keeps going. And so now we have our region that we're increasing, our regions where we're decreasing, and our regions where we're constant. And notice that at these transition points, it's not increasing, decreasing, or constant. It's changing. So they're never part of the region. That's how we know if it's increasing, decreasing, or constant.